Hello everyone, welcome back to HealthSite.com. Today in this video, we are going to see advantages and disadvantages of routing Android device. So let's get started. Let's see advantages. First, removing pre-installed OEM apps. Every Android phones come with a bunch of apps directly from the manufacturer. Some of them are good, but most of them are plain useless. If not worse, and you cannot even remove them. Once you root your device, however, all those apps can go away and you can get the most out of your machine. Second, ad blocking for all apps. Ad blocking is a simple on a web browser, but it gets infinitely more complicated on a smartphone or device. Pop-ups are considered a regular problem in most games and apps, but routing takes care of it all immediately. Third, routing Android installation of custom ROMs. You can install a custom ROM or kernel after you root your device, which essentially means you get a new device software-wise. In fact, this is often the biggest reason for people to root their devices. Custom rooms offer several performance fixes and tweaks to your system and are typically more user-friendly than stock ones. Fourth, installing incompatible apps. Some of the best apps right now may not even be compatible with your phone, but rooting Android device gives you access to all the apps you can find. You even get the latest Android updates before your phone maker releases its own plus bonus features. You can run special applications that require root access, which are generally more power and feature rich than other apps. Fifth one, making full device backups. When you have an unrooted Android phone, you can only backup so many things like your apps or some settings once rooted. However, you will find plenty of apps like Titanium that will entirely backup your rooted device. Now let's see disadvantages. First one, no more warranty. Another big disadvantage of rooting phone is the fact that you lose your device warranty. Device makers will not cover damage caused after you root the device or if you realize that the phone was bricked while it was being rooted. Second, update problems. A good thing about unrooted Android devices is that the system update, no matter how late it comes, will definitely install and work well. The risk with rooted device is that this may not happen. You may find that automated firmware updates may not be working. In some cases, updates will not install because of software modifications made during the routing process itself. Third, root and super user access. Having root access sounds amazing and it is true right up until things go wrong. A wrong setting or moving the wrong item into the wrong place and the wrong time can cause huge problems. Similarly, CPU clocking can also turn out to be a disadvantage. Overclocking or increasing processor speed can maximize performance but also comes with the risk of overheating your processor which is the heart of your device. That means you may likely give a heart attack to your device. Fourth, it can break your device. One of the most common threats to a rooted Android device is misoperation, which could turn your device into an expensive, unusable brick. To avoid this, you should always get your apps from reliable sources like Google Play and do not delete files that rooting apps suggest not to delete. The risk of ending up breaking your phone is even greater if you are new to rooting. Fifth, tweaking risk. There is also the risk of getting the wrong kernel or row which comes with its own problems. Your device could end up bricked or worse. Fixing these disasters can also cost a lot of time, money and effort. So that's it for today. Meet you in the next video. Till then take care and be happy. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more such videos.